Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'a ayyul ahabbati fillah following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam is imperative for us all and our youth today and very few people honestly are those people who met because many people claim this and this is why there's a qaida in the shara that the ulama have deduced from the text al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat that the truth or the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. So therefore, when we have people claiming in the name of Salafiyya, claiming in the name of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah to be Ashari, or saying that the path is the way of the Ashaira, or being of various, various Sufi groups and sects, who go beyond the means and beyond the bounds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set regarding ibadah, going beyond kitabillah and beyond sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with new kind of adhkar and dhikr and things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given permission to do. That when they claim that they are from Ahl sunnah this should raise, cause us to raise an eyebrow. And this should cause us to know and go back to that qaida, al-ibra, that the reality of something is not in its name, but it's in what it is in its substance. And Ahabatifillah, the asl of the jama'ah is the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. They are the origin and the asl and the foundation of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. They come together on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and those who follow them bi ihsan ila yawm ad-din Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa sabiquna al-awwalun min al-muhajirin wal ansar wal ladina tabi'un bi ihsan radiyallahu anhum wa radu'an wa adda lahum jannatin tajri min tahti al-anhar Khalidina fiha abada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Tawbah about the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'in, walau kari al kafirun, walau kari al ahla zandaka, walau kari al mushrikun, walau kari al ruwafid wa shi'a, qal, wa sabiquna al awalun. And the, the first ones, those who preceded, min al muhajirin wal ansar. From the Muhajirin, who made Hijrah? It was the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, anhu majma'in, with the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wal Ansar. And the Ansar, the people of Medina, who were there to greet those Muhajirin, those who migrated from Mecca to Medina, giving up their sacrifice and their lives, their wealth, their belongings their status for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. So Allah praises them in the Quran and mentions them. And those who follow them in righteousness, Allah is pleased with them. Radiallahu anhum. Allah is pleased with them. And they are pleased with Him. And He has prepared for them paradise under which rivers flow. And they will reside in it forever. This is the reward for the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, the asl of the jama'ah. So who should we love? Who should we Follow. 
who makes up Ahlul Sunnah to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Sahaba to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een kama qala shaykhana Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i Allah yarhamuhu when he said da'wa to Ahlul Sunnah da'watun ila kitab Allah min kitab Allah wa ila sunnah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ila sunnah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or min Rasulullah sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that's the da'wah that's the minhaj of ahl sunnah it isn't calling to me it isn't calling to my boys it isn't calling to my group it isn't calling to my clique it isn't calling to this masjid it isn't calling to that sheikh or three mashayikh or khamsa or ashira it's calling to kitab illa wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the understanding of the salaf of this ummah and those people who adhere to that madhab then we love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they avoid hizbiya calling into groups and sects and partisanship calling to them refuting people just because they don't agree with them ahlu rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they don't that's not their minhaj their minhaj is kitab illah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa fahama salaf li hadhihi ummah Loving the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. Why? Because of their ilm and their fadl and their fiqh and their understanding and their wisdom and how they practice and how what they call to because they call to Kitab wa Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf. And they're known for Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf. And those are the ones. who follow the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in in their minhaj and their methodology and their madhab and that includes every aspect of the deen so we have to be very careful ahabati fillah because sometimes we love one part of the deen or we practice one part of the deen and we forget other aspects we can't forget manners some people totally want to ignore manners and almost say that manners is not part of the sunnah this is some people's what they think and why is this a mistake what's my evidence for saying this it's because muhammad ibn abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sallallahu alaihi wasallam qal ما من شيء أثقل في إنسان مؤمن يوم القيامة من حسن الخلق وإن الله يبغض الفاشى البذيء. There doesn't, there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. And verily, Allah hates sinful and wicked speech. أحبت في الله أخلاق. وَأَدَبْ and how we work together وَتَعَوَنَ لَبِرِ وَتَقْوَى cooperate in righteousness and God fearfulness fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by avoiding his prohibitions and enjoining his commands تَأْمُرُونَ الْأَمْرِ بِمَعْرُوفِ النَّهِيَ نَمُنْكَرْ أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرُ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسُكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ Do you command people to the good and you forget yourselves while you read the book? وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ You read the book. You know. But you forgot to command the good and forbid the evil on yourself. But you commanded it on the people. This is a part of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanding the good and forgiving the evil ahabati fillah The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said khair al-nas qarni thumma al-ladheena yalunuhum thumma al-ladheena yalunuhum The best people is those people is, is my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them That's the salaf of this ummah 
That's the method we want to take. Don't take my word for it, but take it from the words of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. فَسَيَّرَ اَخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا وَمَنْ يَعَيْشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَّرَ اَخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا The ones who live after me will see many differences. فَعَلَيْ كَمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَى الرَّاشِدِينَ And it's upon you, my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat. Not ISIS, not ISIL, not the other groups, not the Taliban, not this group, not that group. But following the rightly guided khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. What they were upon. Because what we find when we put these other groups and sects on the scale, we see that they yukhalifa minhaj ahl sunnah. They go against, they go away from, they deviate very extremely from the methodology and the madhab of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the salaf of this ummah. So, habatifillah, I ask that Allah azza wa jal by all of his divine names and attributes, grants us forgiveness and guidance, and helps us to be of those who follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa and have right guidance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all of our many shortcomings, all of the sins that we do. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.